In the summer of 2021, we embarked on a two-week road trip to the west coast of Scotland, from Oban all the way to the Outer Hebrides. Good morning and welcome from Scotland. We are in Loch Lomond and Trossex National Park and we thought we'd break down the journey to Oban stopping here in this little village called Luce or Las. I'm not sure the pronunciation should ask someone. And oh my god, I am on holiday. It feels so weird. I've, I haven't been off for two weeks in a very long time, so I'm very, very looking forward to this Scottish trip. So yeah, first up of the day here in Luce and oh, it feels great to be out. And I can't wait to continue our journey through the Scottish Hebrides. We have about three hours to go to reach Oban and today we have whiskey tasting which are oh, so excited best way to start our journey so buzzing During the first week of our trip, we decided to be stationed in the beautiful city of Oban, and we will explore the best that this region has to offer, starting from one of our favourite Scottish products. Yeah. Which one did you prefer? I don't like it. <laughs> oh, Luca, I don't like it. <laughs> I love them all. <laughs> After our whiskey tasting, we headed to the gorgeous house where we will be staying for the next seven days. And as someone who used to campsites and hostels, this was definitely a significant change of scenery. Good morning, we are on the Isle of Carrera and it's been a quite eventful morning because we could have taken the ferry to get here but we thought we'd swim it. Yeah, and um, we swam from um, just outside of Oban to Carrera. We uh, clambered over the rocks and um, yeah, made a swim across. Yeah, it was the water was quite cold to be honest but nothing yeah. unbearable and it's, it is cool to swim to an island. Yeah. Cool thing to do, rather, and we save money from the ferry. So now we are taking a walk to the ruins of the castle that are on the other side of the island and there is a lovely path that goes there and it's very peaceful apart from three quarters just past us. There is barely anyone here yeah. and it's super quiet and the weather is actually okay. Which is not... Yeah, you can see for miles, you can see mountain sides and hillsides. It's beautiful. So yeah, looking forward to get to this castle and to the tea shop because that's the other big attraction of the place. Yes. Carrera is one of the islands of the Inner Hebrides and last time they officially checked only 45 people lived on the island. On Carrera there are no roads, no public buildings, no shop 
and most dramatically, no pubs. After a 4km walk, we reach the southern end of the island to visit the main attraction on the Isle of Carrera, Gillen Castle. So we've now reached the main attraction here on the Isle of Carrera and that's Glean Castle. It's an impressive stronghold at the very tip of the island that served as a defensive position with a 360 view all around the sea and the nearby hills. So it was built in the 16th century by Clan MacDougall and it was subsequently burned during one of the wars between the clans that happened in this area. But it's still quite intact and most of it still stands. The walls are very, very thick, so the weather didn't take its toll on this outstanding piece of architecture. And the location is just magical. You got the sea all around us and these lush green hills with cows and sheep um, grazing. And it's just, oh, it's so beautiful, so peaceful as well. There's barely anyone here. So yeah, really, really enjoyed this first stop here on Carrera. And now we are gonna head to the other main attraction of the island, which is the tea room. So very looking forward to some cake and some nice tea. Spending a relaxing day on the island, we took the short ferry journey back, while some of us decided to kayak back to Oban instead. Right, so day one in Oban completed. It was an amazing day, to be honest, even though it was, we we're mostly settling in this new place. We woke up a bit later than usual, but we had such a great time. And now we are gonna probably chill for the rest of the evening, go to bed early, maybe play some pool uh, before bed. We had the jacuzzi last night, so we're not gonna do it again today, especially because I'm knackered. Good morning from a very misty Oban. Today we are heading to Glencoe and I couldn't be more excited because I've heard so much about this place and I'm really looking forward to seeing it with my own eyes. But for now, Oban looks really, really misty. Glencoe is considered to be one of the most breathtaking places in Scotland. This ancient highland landscape was formed by a supervolcano hundreds of millions of years ago and it was then sculpted by massive glaciers during the last ice age. So we are in Glencoe and we are walking to the Lost Valley. It's a lovely four kilometer trail, uh, a little bit of scramble, but quite easy and should be one of the best places to see the three sisters from so really exciting and I must say it feels so good to be back in the mountains after 13 months since we last went to the Dolomites so I'm loving this and look at the scenery it's just unbelievable oh, so so happy here I'm 
boiling hot, hence the top off. But yeah, we had a lovely walk up to the valley. Now we're finishing our walk back to the main parking and we're going to explore the village of Glencoe. The village of Glencoe is also known for an infamous historical fact. In 1692, 38 men, women and children of the clan Macdonald were murdered by soldiers sent by the government after these were welcomed into their homes. For our fourth day in Scotland, we decided to go and climb the highest peak in the United Kingdom, and Nevis. The summit of Ben Nevis is only 1,345 metres above the sea level, but since the starting point of the hike is at 20 metres of elevation, the walk to the top of the mountain is actually fairly long. Right, today we are finally climbing Ben Nevis. We're already halfway up there, nearly, nearly halfway up there. I didn't film it before because it was so busy. Now we just literally got out to a plateau before the final series of switchbacks that leads up to the mountain. And yeah, it's been good. It's a really, really hot day though. And yeah, super sunny, but the route so far was quite easy and just a lot of stony steps. So. Nothing too bad. Bit of traffic now, but we are at about 850 meters. So we still got about 500 meters of elevation to go through. So far, so good. A beautiful day. Can't wait to see the panorama from the top. Right, nearly 1,000 meter elevation. It's getting closer to midday, so it's getting much hotter, which I'm not a fan of, but we keep pushing. And hopefully within the next hour or so we'll be at the very top of the United Kingdom.
So it's a beautiful day here in Open, and we are on our way to Kilkern Castle, just 40 minutes up the road. Let's check it out. Good morning, we are in Kilken Castle, just outside of Oban, about 40 minutes away from Oban, and it's uh, I reckon 17th century castle built on the shore of this lake, which is quite cool. Unfortunately, there is no access to the castle itself because of some, some scaffolding outside, so I reckon that's why they just closed the gates, so it's not possible to visit the inside. But yeah, it's such a hot day, I can't believe we've been this lucky here in Scotland. It's really hot and yeah there is not a single cloud in the sky and i can't believe this is true because all i've heard about scotland was rain 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 and look at that just brilliant Right, so after a relaxing day at Kilcom Castle, I thought I'd take a walk and check out the McCaig Tower here in Oban. So let's see what that's about. McCaig Tower was built in 1897 by a local banker to provide work for local stonemasons and create a lasting monument for the McCaig family. Good morning. So we had a bit of a rough start today because I woke up at 7 a.m. with a text message from the ferry saying that the ferry that we were meant to go on to today was cancelled. So no trip to Mole. Luckily, we managed to get in contact with Carmack Ferries and we discovered that tomorrow the ferry will still go, which will allow us to go on the Staffa boat tour and we will visit the rest of Mole tomorrow, which means that today we had a free day and we decided to go to Inverary Castle, which is where we are right now. And it's a, it's a beautiful modern castle, um, still intact, the owners still live in it, and it's got lovely gardens all around, so yeah, quite nice backup plan. Built on the shores of Loch Fyne, Inverary Castle has been the seat of the Duke of Argyll since the 18th century. In 2012, the castle was also used as a filming location for the TV show Downton Abbey. After visiting the castle, we decided to stop to paddleboard at the gorgeous beach of Canavan Sands, just 10 minutes outside of Oban.
Good morning. Today we are finally taking our ferry to Mull. After yesterday's cancellation, today everything went well, it seems. So we'll be traveling to Mull. Looking forward to visit the island and the main event will be the boat tour to Staffa, which I'm so excited for. Unfortunately, because of yesterday's cancellation, we didn't have time to actually visit the island of Mull, as we already planned to do the boat tour to the Isle of Staffa and then explore the island of Iona. That said, the scenery on Mull was fantastic, which means they were definitely going to come back to this incredible place. Hello, lads. While we were in the middle of the ocean, we were treated with a surprise we really did not expect. Fingal's cave is formed entirely from volcanic basalt columns, a structure similar to the giant's causeway in Northern Ireland. The legend says that these were the end pieces of a huge road built by the Irish giant Fionn Macomo, so that he could reach Scotland to fight with Fingal, his gigantic rival. We have made it and look at this weather. Just half an hour ago it was horrible. I mean not horrible, it wasn't raining or anything, but it was very cloudy, very misty. And look at this sun now, it's unbelievable. We are on the Isle of Staffa and I can't believe how remote and beautiful this place is. I think I've never been anywhere more remote than this. There's literally just grass, rocks and us on it. And it's just stunning, stunning. To get here we took a 45 minute journey through boat and to be honest, just the trip was worth the price because we saw an incredible amount of dolphins jumping right next to us on the boat on the way here and that was so incredible i've never seen dolphins in the wild so i was absolutely astonished uh, to see them and it was oh, such an amazing experience and then we got here and as soon as we saw the island the sun came out and it was like oh God, this is our week we are so lucky but yeah, this place is really magical and it's really peaceful because it's not as small as it seems. So even though there are, what, 30 people on the boat, we're all scattered around and you, I can't see anyone. And all around us just sea and other islands. It's so beautiful. We decided to take a walk on the top of the rock to begin with. And then we're going to move to the caves when everybody's going to be done with them. Uh, and I can't wait to see them from nearby. Um, yeah, highly recommend this place. It's so incredible and it's so cheap. 30 quid to come here. An hour journey by boat, here and back. See plenty of wildlife. We saw jellyfish, we saw seals and dolphins. Definitely do it. After an hour on the island, we headed back to the boat that would now take us to the island of Iona. But on the way back, we were rewarded once again with a beautiful sight.
On the way to Staffa we saw a group of common dolphins, while the ones we spotted on the way back were the much larger bottlenose dolphins. This was my first time seeing dolphins in the wild, and it was one of the most incredible moments of my life. Iona is a tiny island off the coast of Mo, 1.5 miles wide and 3 miles long, with a population of 170. The isle is famous for being the cradle of Christianity in Scotland. It does feel incredible here, like the atmosphere is mystical, I cannot describe it with another word. It is really peaceful and there is something in the air, there is a stillness in the air, so everything is very calm and everybody is taking everything slowly and the Abbey is right on the waters of the Sound and it's such a stunning location, very inspirational. And now we're going to take a walk around the Abbey and we're probably going to move on back to Mole. In the year 563, St. Columba founded the Abbey of Iona, and after surviving several Viking raids, the Abbey became one of the most important pilgrimage sites in Britain. Coming next, me and Ellie will continue our journey through Scotland with our van, exploring the best of the Isle of Skye in the Outer Hebrides. So I was filming these bad boys, and my drone smashed probably somewhere there. We will enjoy Scottish whisky, great food. Whoa! fantastic nature of the west of Scotland. 